Struggles of many kinds are the focus of American experience, two days in October, which receives our next Peabody. For those who lived those two days, events in Vietnam and on the campus of the University of Wisconsin changed the meaning of war and protest. I didn't want to see any more Vietnamese children running around with their clothes burned off. There were millions of us who thought that if we put in enough time and made enough noise, that it would make it impossible for the government to keep sending young men to Vietnam. Suddenly there was this series of clicking sounds and then the battle started. It sounded like every weapon in the world was being fired at that point from, from all directions on us. Accepting the Peabody, Robert Kenner, producer and director, two days in October. This is a wonderful honor. I will always cherish my Peabody, thank you. Um, I would like to start by thanking David Marinus, uh, whose book, uh, They Marched Into Sunlight, formed the basis for our story. His weaving together of an ambush in Vietnam with an anti-war protest in Madison proved to be a powerful window into the turbulent 1960s. I've been very lucky to work with WGBH and American Experience. Uh, it's been a great place to work and it's been a great place to make films. And I've been especially lucky to work with Margaret Drain, Mark Samuels, and Sharon Grimberg. Margaret brought me to American Experience and managed to be both a wonderful boss and a good friend. When Mark took over at American Experience, he called to say he had just read this wonderful book and Mark had instantly seen the movie buried within. He never ceased believing in the film's potential, even when others question what Vietnam had to tell us today. Somehow, Mark always continued to see the importance and kept encouraging the film along. I was fortunate to work with a great team. Uh, I had a wonderful editor in Kim Roberts and two wonderful writer collaborators in Alan Rucker and Paul Taylor. I would also like to thank my family, Marguerite, Zach, and Tess, who are here with me today, without whose support I couldn't do what I do. And most of all, I would like to thank the men and women who were soldiers and students 40 years ago, whose courage, uh, who were courageous enough to revisit one of the most difficult days of their life and generous enough to let me come along. Thank you so much.